everyone welcome back to the channel so today this video is all about how to create Windows 11 bootable USB with the Rofus Rofus is a small piece of software which one normally we use to create any bootable USB thumb drive okay I don't know why I did visit Rofus again and I found one of the amazing option for creating Windows 11 thumb drive so as you can see this is my blank USB which is 14.6 I mean 16 gig it's blank anyway so I'm going to use this USB to create Windows 11 USB drive uh, with the Rufus all right so Rufus does have two version uh, I mean one of them portable another one is installable okay so first of all you're going to type Rufus on the screen all right and then we're going to get into the official site which is that one rufus.ie as you can see click here and then it will take us directly to the download options okay so as you can see there are a few versions but the portable one is one of the great one the reason is we don't have to install it okay even this is a small piece of software but still we don't have to install now it would ask you by default if you would like to update it yes that's always great to go for update so if you click yes it's going to take few seconds and pop up like that okay so as you can see on the top it says no label 16 gb that's mean this one detected my usb and underneath you can see it says i also image please select all right so what i never knew before on the select option there is another option on the drop down menu which is called download if I click here as you can see there are two options select and download once you click on download and then again if you click on the download button it's going to give you directly access to the ISO file and that will download for you ISO file so that's mean technically you don't need to visit any other website to download the Windows 10 11 or whatever ISO file so let's click here to see another magic as you can see you can download Oh, there are lots of options include Windows 10, 8.17, UEFI shell and all those stuff. So I'm going to use Windows 11 just to see how does it work and everything. I'm going to click on continue. And once I click on continue, it's going to give me the release option. Okay. Right now, currently, there is only one option which is available here. Again, I'm going to click on continue. Hopefully it would give me another option. Let's check it out. Click here and then I can see it says Windows 11 Home Pro EDU and once I select that one because there is no any other option then it's going to give me another option which is called language. International. I'm going to choose English International. If you want you can choose your one. It depends where you are. And then the last option would be which bitrate unfortunately there is only 64 available for windows 11 and by the way the most amazing things for windows 11 here if you would like you can create the non uef i mean non tpm based iso or tpm based iso both of them available that's mean if you do have any old machine old system which one doesn't have the tpm chip 2.0 version still you'd be able to download it so as you can see now it's asking what should i download and everything i choose that option let me check yeah i choose that option to download in my download folder okay so i'm going to select in download and once you save then it's going to give you option by the way there is another option to download it uh, through the browser but that's what i don't want it this is going to take a while to download it it depends on your internet speed obviously and how fast is your computer is but anyway this one doesn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes it depends anyway so i'm going to let it download and then i will carry on by the way if you would like to download the iso file either windows 10 or 11 tpm based or non-tpm based either uefi or legacy still there are two jobs you have to do first of all get the download by downloading it and once it download then we'll get into the main option and we'll create the usb 
So I'm going to fast forward this video to get into 100% to make the video shorter and then we'll create the Windows 11 bootable thumb drive. Okay, so let's carry on and check how does it goes and hopefully that would be a surprising. Thanks for watching. All right, so the ISO file already downloaded. Now, this is the job to create your correct USB, especially the bootable one. So there are a few options that you have to be careful when and what you're gonna choose. So first of all, if you wanna create the TPM based one, you have to choose TPM 2.0 plus secure boot. So that means you should have TPM module 2.0 version in your laptop or desktop, I mean on the motherboard, plus you have to turn on the secure boot. But if you don't have, then you can choose the bottom option, which one says Windows 11 non-TPM. I'm going to choose that one because my one does have TPM anyway, 2.01. And then once you choose TPM 2.0, you have to choose the partition scheme GPT, as you can see. No MBR, MBR for legacy boot only. So if you choose MBR for Windows 11, and if you choose TPM 2.0, it's not gonna work, okay? So has to have that combination. And once I choose that, if I click on start, it's gonna delete everything, whatever inside my 16 GB USB thumb drive, okay? If there is anything, it's gonna be deleted, it's gonna be formatted, and then it would be created automatically and the job would be done, all right. So there are a few things, as I said, one second. First of all, make sure you do have a uh, minimum eight to 16 gig. I like 16 gig anyway, 16 gig USB thumb drive, and then choose which version that you want, especially for Windows 11, okay? And then if you choose TPM 2.0, then you have to get the partition scheme, GPT, not the MBR. And the target system would be UEFI known CSM. Once you've done that, then you can choose the volume label, the name. Okay. The volume label, I mean the name also, you can rename it, you can customize it, or you can keep it as default. Okay. There is one thing I have to mention it. Uh, when the ISO file get copied from the actual Rofus to the USB, it gets stuck sometimes. It could be stuck 9.4 percent, for example, or it could be stuck in any percentage. If it does get uh, stuck, don't be surprised. Don't think it's not creating or is hang or frozen. It does happen because some files are really big inside, you know. Okay, so usually it takes 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on how fast your USB, how fast your computer and stuff like that okay until you get any error message uh, just let it go like that and once you get into 100 percent it's going to be ready and hopefully uh, you can use it successfully without any issues okay still if you do have any issue then please uh make sure you leave it in the comment section and if you do like this video please hit subscribe button to get more future videos by the way all right so i'm gonna let it go until 100 percent and then the job would be done. And how to install and how to use these bootable Windows 11 disk or whatever, please check in another separate video into my channel, all right? So that's all for today. Let it go until 100% and then we'll be finished. Thanks for watching.
all right so it's done it's nearly done now we can close it and we can check it out into this PC so let's press the close button and get into this PC and as you can see the third one which is a CC OMA 64 that's the one which one created so we can do right click and eject it okay and it, it would be absolutely fine so thanks for watching once again bye for now